All right, I'm going to show you how to do a basic query. Um, see if I can make this go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work you through uh, four basic queries. These are similar to kinds of things you might be asked uh, in class and in homework. Um, all of these are based on the same information, uh, and that's on purpose. Kind of want to show you kind of how I build a query um, from a simple query to a complicated query. So the first question, you can see we're using the Films database, uh, which you should have installed. And uh, we want to display all movies. So remember that uh, often the questions you'll get are going to be a little ambiguous. Um, and that's on purpose. In the real world, uh, our bosses don't usually say, I want to know all the movies from the Films database. Right? They just say, I want, I want to see all the movies, or I want to see all the customers, or I want to see all the customers in Virginia. Or They don't really explain um, how to get that information. They just ask you like a normal human question. Um, so I do the same thing with a lot of your questions. Oftentimes, I don't give you a lot of information to go on. Um, so you have to kind of do some sleuthing. So I want you to display all movies. Well, how would I display all movies? Um, well, I know I'm going to be in the film's database. That much I usually tell you. Now, I could go through the trouble of looking into each of these tables and the columns and look for a column that um, has a movie name. Um, and uh, eventually I would get there. Um, you know, I'd see that I got the films and, oh, look, there's, there's a film name. That might be it. And again, sometimes it's just guessing. Uh, the better way is to go to the designer and uh, take a look at your designer. And you can see all these funny lines that we're going to talk about later in the semester. Uh, but I'm just going to move things around right now so it's a little easier to, to read right quick. And those lines tell us how things are related. They aren't important yet, but they become incredibly important later. Um, but I can see each of these is a table and what's in each table. So I can see location has a location ID and a street and a city and a state. Uh, member details has names, dates of birth, that kind of thing. Films, here's films. It's got a, uh, a film name. Um, I don't see film name anywhere else. So it's a pretty good guess that that's what I want. How do I know for sure that's what I want? I have to build the query and see the information I get. Um, that's part of the challenge of this class is it's not always really cut and dry. Sometimes the only way I know for sure I got it right is I look at the report and see if the report gives me the information I expected. All right, so take a look. I'm uh, all movies in the Films database. All right, so I'm going to go over here to Films and I'm going to type uh, select because anytime we're looking for stuff, select means show me. I'm going to select all. So I just want to get everything. And I'm going to say from Films. And that's the table that I'm, I'm on. So this is saying, okay, well, just show me everything from films. I hit go. Oh, man, that's a, that's a pretty good guess, right? There are all the movies in my database, and uh, it's showing me all the information. I didn't say specifically what I wanted, um, so you'd have to kind of decide what you think the most useful information would be. Um, and we'll talk about that more as we go through some of these different questions. For me, I probably would just shown the film name. Um, but uh, certainly you could show everything in the table at that point. I know these are all the same ones because if I look at films, I get the same information. All right, so what's the next question? Uh, display all movies made in 1967. All right, so same kind of thing. I'm here in my films database. I can see up here it's just films database. It's always a select. Show me. Uh, show me all from films. And this is where I'd have to do a where statement, right? I need a filter because it's saying I only want the ones in 1967. And you guys remember when I do select from films, that shows me everything. So I got this full set. Now I just need to find the one, two, three that are in 1967 and don't show anything else. So I hit SQL here and uh, oops, get back up to films. Grab my auto save carry and I'm going to do a where filter by what I want to filter by. Well, I want to go to films and I want to filter by the year released where year released is 1967. Don't put any quotes around that because it's a pure number, so I don't need to quote it. Let's take a look at that and show me all 1967. Looks like, like I'm missing something. Let's see what it tells me I'm missing here. Oh, it says unknown column in where clause. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I spelled it wrong. What's another way to make sure I don't spell something wrong? I could fully qualify this. Fully qualify just means I'm giving the name of the table. And then I hit period. And when I do that, oops, films dot 
And see how when I hit that dot, it gives me everything that's in that table. So I can actually click on years released and look at that. Now I know it's going to be spelled right, um, which is a, a safe way to do things. So it's fully qualified. We don't usually do that in our quizzes, but certainly on all homeworks, I recommend fully qualifying. So now I hit go and look at that. I've just got the three from 1967. So that's a good report answer. All right. Now I want to display all the movies made in 1967. I just want to do the name. Look, I actually told us I just want the name. So how do I get just the name? Well, let's go back up here to films. Again, I want my thing to be straight. Just database films. I don't like using those table parts if I can help it. Grab my autosave query because that's going to save me a little work. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to type films dot films dot year films dot why is that not working? Come on now. Select films dot there we go. Film name from films where you're released. Now it's just gonna show me the column film name in the table films. There we go. Just the three that I saw earlier, but now I'm only showing the film name. Now what? Okay. Oh, now what I, I want to show the name and the release date. Now that makes sense so I can tell what year it was done. Of all movies made between 1967 and 1976. All right, we can do that. So I'm going to just hit, hit edit in line here. I'm going to make my thing a little bigger. Now I'm going to show my films film name, comma, films dot year released so that's the two columns I'm gonna see from table films and now it's gonna be where my year released instead of equal I'm gonna say year released between 1967 and gotta use that keyword 1970 what year is it supposed to be 76 1976 so you can see I'm gonna show me the film name column and the year released column from the table films where the year released column has the value between 1967 and 1976. Now I could put a semicolon at the end of this if I want to be really specific, uh, but I don't have to if that's the only command I'm putting in. This is all one command. All right. And I'm going to hit go. And look at that. There's On Golden Puddle, Planet of the Apes, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and there's one in 1975, One Flew Over the Crow's Nest. So those are our four really simple basic queries that uh, you'll see an awful lot early in the semester. So good luck. Reach out if you have questions.